Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture on the backtracking. This will be the third in the series. So in each approach we are looking at the different way. All of them are backtracking methods. But the way you are applying a backtracking method that also makes that particular algorithm less complex. So this will be the third approach in the end queen and that will be a better approach compared to the previous two approach for the previous two approach you can refer uh, videos so let's try to revisit our n queen problem in the n queen you have to place n cross uh, n chessboard and you have to place total n queens such that each of the queen won't be attack on each other so consider this chessboard this is the eight queen problem total eight queens we have to place so consider we want to let's put a one queen here now the moment you put a queen here queen can go here here in the same row here again here diagonal and here it is in the diagonal so the queen can go to the row queen can go to the column and queen can go to the diagonal now if you disassemble with the previous two videos on this backtracking of hand queens the first approach will be required the four loops eight times it's supposed to be a row based approach now the second approach in which we are using a permutations so essentially we are using a column based approach it means there are no two queens we are putting on the same column so now we can use the third approach ultimately the queen itself is telling us the different approach now how can we say that well queen can go to any row so we have used the row approach queen can go to any column so we have used the column approach and now queen is going to the diagonal it means we are using the diagonal based approach clear so yes this diagonal also will be there that is reverse forward backward any diagonal so this queen can go in this all the way so now we have to use the diagonal based approach somehow if we can put that okay in each row fine we are putting one queens in each column we are putting one queens but moment that we are putting a one queen we have to make sure that that queens is not in collision of all the previous queens that is played successfully so it's like if i am putting a seventh queen then we have to make sure that the one to six queen will be placed and when i'm putting a seventh queen the seventh queen is in nose in collision of the one to six queens then and then i can put a plus for the seventh queen if i am not able to find any plus for the seventh queen then i have to backtrack i have to go to the sixth queen i have to find the next position of the sixth queen that is in suitable with one to five queens so whenever i am putting a one queen I have to make sure that that particular queen is not going to attack with the, all the previous queens. Then and then I am going to plus the queens. So that is what the main approach of the, this third set of algorithm. Yeah. So now this will be our solutions that we are well aware. Uh, here now the queen is going to be attacking any other queens. That is now. Now the question is, let's say if we will plus a two queens, how can we sure that? the two queens is not in the same column consider the location of the first queen is i comma j the second queen will be uh, k comma l okay so you will assume there are two coordinates that is q and to u now how can you sure that the this two queens is not in the same row or same column well you will be given two coordinates i comma j and k comma l so if i and k both are same you can say in the same row if j and l both are same you can say in the same column now what about the diagonal can i somehow make sure that using these two coordinates i can able to detect whether these two queens in in the same column or uh, sorry same diagonal or not it can be forward diagonal it can be reverse diagonal that is what i want to do so let's go to our previous screen so now consider this will be my ij and let's try to use the different consider my second queen that i'm going to place here now how can we sure that these two queens will be in the same diagonal maybe other queen i will also put down here and how can we sure that again this two queen in the same diagonal or these two queens in the same diagonal then how can we make sure it can be a reverse in the diagonal way, it can be a forward in the diagonal way. Row and column, we can able to get it, but what about the diagonal? So that is what the query here. Well, the approach is we have to use forward and backward. The both the diagonal we have to take care. 
let's say for this particular queens here we have to look at the which one is the forward which one is the backward so both the queens supposed to be taken care here okay. so that is the approach now i j and k and l so somehow i have to make sure that this will be work well the thing is i cannot resort to only i and k or j and l because in the row i and k is useful in column j and l is useful but for a diagonal we have to use all these four coordinates well one thing is i can use i minus k and j minus l but in certain situations there are some negative values because i have to deal with positive i have to deal with negative reverse and forward diagonal now which theory in maths will tell you to convert positive number into negative number well you are well aware it's mod so the thing is that you have to use is you have to use the mode operations that whenever you perform any of the minus operations you have to go with the mode so ultimately what you have to use is i minus k and j minus l that's you have to use it yeah so this is with the mode operations they are going to you can use it the both will give you the same value and then you can go on okay so this is what the approach in the diagonal this is the heart of this particular approach that the diagonal will be taken at place apart from row and column now we are also pushing a diagonal so that when we are putting a queens we have to make sure that that queen is not going to in a row in a column or in a diagonal of all the previous queens that is well placed clear yeah? so now this one is the algorithm n queens we are putting a kth queen in the nth uh, total n cross n chess boards so that's we are going to put so before putting kth queen we are assuming that from 1 to k minus 1 all the queen is well placed means they are not attacking each other either in row column or diagonal so now what i have to do for the kth queen we have to start with column 1 2 up to n because there are n columns in that particular chessboard and for each of the column we have to check can i place the kth queen in this particular column first column second column yes the moment i will use the word kth queen it means it will deal with the kth row because we are assume that in all in each row we are putting only one queen the moment i will mention kth queen it means kth row that i am mentioning so that queen we have to check whether it can be placed in first place, second place, third place, so and so on. If it is placed, then in my solution vector I will put as a i. If I will reach at the nth, means if when k becomes n, it means I have placed the nth queen, means I have to stop. I will print the array. If I want to again continue, again I will recursively call to backtrack. I will again go with the k minus 1 queen, try to rechange it. Clear? Otherwise, what I have to do if I am not yet reached to the k equal to n means yet I haven't reached to the nth queen. It means the moment I place the kth queen, I have to go with the next queen. It means if I have placed total, let's say 8 cross 8 chessboard, if I have placed total 5 queens, then for the 6th number queen, I have to again call a recursively this function and try to check out whether can I get a place for that queen. If it is no, again I will backtrack, I will try to find the next solution of that now the question here is what is this place algorithm plus will tell whether it is feasible to put the kth queen in the ith column provided the queen is not going to be attacked by any other k minus one queens now how can you check this place algorithm well it is very simple uh, for each of the previous one to k minus one queens i have to check whether that queen is in this same column or in same diagonal because we are assuming that in each row we have only one queen so we don't have to check for the rows criteria only we have to check is for the column and the diagonal criteria if that particular queen queen is any of the column or the diagonal of that any previous queen then we cannot put the kth queen in the ith uh, column we have to go with the next column so that is what our plus algorithm that is what the question so now for all the previous queens so that's why for all j to k 1 to k minus 1 all the previous queens we have to check a column and the diagonal criteria if either of that is going to be true then we cannot put that queen 
in that particular column we have to go with the next column that is what it will do if for all this thing for all 1 to k minus 1 if every time this both is 4 this one is for my column and this one is for my diagonal if both are false that every time for all the k minus one, means i found one probable place of the kth queen that is what this place algorithm does so even compared to the previous two approaches this one is far better approach so let's take one example consider that first queen i am placed here because first queen doesn't have any competitions with the previous queens now second queen I cannot put it here, I cannot put it here, yes, I am going to put it here, that's the fine, because this queen is all the previous queen we have to compare, now the third queen, no, 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 again no, yes, here I can put the third queen, fourth queen, again, here I am going to put it, fourth queen, now fifth queen, hmm? fifth queen here, no, here, yes, I can put the fifth queen, Six queen, no, 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 yeah, here we can, yes, we can put this, this queen, now seventh queen, here, no, 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 only this locations, oh, yeah, that's, I can use it, yet it is not attacked with any of the previous queens, yes, I can use it, now for the eight queen, let's see whether, if we can successfully place the eight queen, it means this is one of our solutions, that's a good thing. Now this particular row, no, 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 only this particular location is available according to column wise. But if I am putting here, then this is going to be attacked by this particular queen. That's why what I have to do is, again, this for particular, this queen, we have to find a next location. Can I put this queen here? No. Can I put? No. The moment if I cannot put this queens, again, I have to resort to this particular queens again to way forward. Yeah. Can I put this queen here? No. Here? Again? No. No. Here? No. Again, I will go to backtrack. Can I put this queen in the next particular place here? Okay. That's what it will do. No. Oh, here? Yes. This queen will be placed here. That's what it will do. The moment you place the queen. Let me try to change color. So, okay. The moment you will place your next queen here let's say this is my next queen previously it was here the moment i will put the next queen here i have to again here queen no here no 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 here yo no here no here no it means again this one is wrong again we have to continue so and so on the moment this queen will be reached here and then again this queen is try here the moment it will reach here this will try to find out so that is what the back checking of this particular algorithm. So this one is the solution one of you think this criteria you can check if you uh, you can take the i comma j and k comma l coordinates of all the screen you can able to see that they are not in the same row they are not in the same column and they are not in the same diagonal of each ones either reverse or forward diagonal. Okay. Thank you. Uh, this will be the reference that you can try to able to look in the more details of this thing. And this will be the recursive algorithm, so that's going to put one by one of the queens. Thank you everyone for watching this video.